What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about JKD. So for those of you guys who don't know, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys do, JKD is Jit Kune Do, right? That's, uh, that's a name that the Bruce Lee gave his, uh, his martial art, right? I would, I would argue it's more of a philosophy than anything else. Now, the reason for this video is because uh, somebody, I read it in one of the comments, right, <clears throat> of my videos. Uh, the guy just said, uh, uh, oh, go do JKD, right? And this was in response to my video uh, a while back ago that I did um, on why I quit the, uh, Taekwondo, TKD, right? So I'm not sure if you meant that as a joke or not, but it was kind of interesting, you know, because TKD, JKD, so it rhymes, right? And uh, the reason why I left Taekwondo, well, Taekwondo was because I realized that it, I, I didn't know how to fight, you know? That's one of the reasons. Uh, I got punched in the face while I was sparring with this dude, and uh, I didn't know what to do. And uh, anyways, so that's one of the reasons why I left. I wanted to, uh, to, to, to learn something uh, that was more, um, that would be more practical for self-defense. <clears throat> so then in the comments, this guy wrote, uh, yeah, go do JKD. So, and I thought about that, so I want to touch on that a little bit. So in this video, we're gonna talk about JKD, but we're gonna talk about, is it worth learning now? Is JKD worth learning? Okay, so I'm, let me start by saying that I'm the biggest, biggest Bruce Lee fan. One of the, if among, you know, I'll, Okay, I wouldn't say that. There's a lot of people who probably love him a little bit more than I do. But I mean, he was a big influence my, in my life. He's the whole reason I started practicing martial arts and getting into it and all that. So, I mean, I love the man. I love his work. I love what he's all about. You know, on top of that, he's Asian. So, you know, it's like, oh, wow, Asian superstar. You know, not much of that going around. Uh, oh, more and more now. But I mean, nobody like him ever, you know, like Jackie Chan tried. Uh, but you know, he paved his own way in a sense, right? Uh, Jet Li tried, you know, he was okay, but you know, nobody was like Bruce Lee, right? Bruce Lee was legendary. So that being said, <clears throat> okay, I believe that JKD, after Bruce Lee died, I wouldn't say that it stopped evolving, but I, I feel as though like it kind of did, you know, because they didn't, uh, they didn't really integrate a lot of grappling, like ground fighting and stuff like that into it, or maybe they have, so you guys could correct me if I'm wrong. But I feel as though now, I mean, okay, JKD is, you know, way of the intercepting fist, and in my opinion, it's a philosophy on, uh, uh, it's, 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 it was like pretty much MMA when you re really think about it, right? It was taking from borrowing from different arts, right? And using what works and then, you know, really just eliminating all the, all the bullshit. And after that, just using the, the techniques that work from each discipline. So essentially it was MMA, right? And I find as though like if JKD would have um, uh, evolved under Bruce, right? Like it would have been brought to the cage, definitely. And there would have been some serious grappling in, in, in it too, you know? He would have integrated uh, like grappling, like judo, wrestling, catch wrestling, uh, you know, Greco-Roman wrestling, you know, jujitsu and all. He would have done that. I'm sure he would have done that, uh, in my opinion, like uh, the way he was going about it and stuff like that, because uh, he was a big, he was big on like, you know, taking what works and then just throwing away the rest. So he didn't care where it came from as long as it worked, right? And for those of you guys who don't know, towards the end of his life, right? Not towards the end, I'm not sure on the timeline, but he did train with Jean LaBelle, judo Jean LaBelle. Big, big judo guy, champion, world champion. Uh, you know, you guys look him up, Gene LaBelle, and uh, you'll see, you know. Um, and this guy was, uh, he taught Bruce Lee uh, how to, uh, taught him some judo, man, you know. So he, Bruce Lee trained with him for, I think, uh, for like a year or something like that in, in judo and grappling and submission, uh, submission wrestling maybe. But, you know, grappling essentially, right? So... I think that's where it would have gone and it didn't really go that way, man. I feel as though they just kind of stuck with what they already had uh, for whatever reason. I'm not criticizing, once again. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, they just stayed with what uh, Bruce already set into place, right, in terms of the system. And then from there, it didn't really evolve. And then after that, MMA came in, right? Like you had the, uh, the Graces come in, uh, UFC. They started showing that, wow, ground game is really good and they, they pretty much like destroyed everybody. Uh, but they had a hard time with the wrestlers, by the way, <laughs> and the judokas. But yeah, so so then they kind of MMA took over, right? And I'll tell you a, a guy, you guys, a little bit about one of my experiences, like when um, 
there was a time when I was looking for when I first started, right? Like uh, I, I was looking for a school. This was in my thirties. I was I was what thirty years old, and I was looking for a grappling school, and then I ended up at this uh, kung fu school, right? And it was like a hybrid kung fu school, right? Where it kind of like JKD based, you know, a lot of uh, uh, borrow a whole bunch of stuff from Bruce Lee, from Jit Kune Do, from this, from that, and you know, making a whole system and stuff like that. And then I, when I got there, okay, so we did some stuff. It was really cool. It was really like uh, uh, interesting, you know, what they were teaching and stuff like that. And then I told them, yeah, but listen, I, I like all this, but I, I want to learn grappling. You know, do you guys do grappling? And then of course they told me, yeah, yeah, we do grappling. We do grappling. You know. And then of course we did a couple of drills on the floor. And I didn't know any better, so I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. But then, wow, then I decided against it because it was expensive, right? It was really expensive, man, holy smokes. It was something like, uh, uh, easily like a thousand and up, about thousand dollars a year or some, some, something like that, right? And, uh, and I'm like, ah, oh, for that price, and it's not super, it's not what I want to, to learn, because I want to learn BJJ, right? And uh, yeah, and then from there I uh, I went off, and I I, I eventually started uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu uh, near this club uh, at this, uh, this this community center right uh, near my place back at that time, and wow, what a, that's when I found like what I was looking for, what I really wanted to learn right, which was ground fighting, like pure ground fighting to really understand it, and that's when in retrospect when I look back at what. Uh, uh, that Kung Fu school was showing in terms of uh, grappling was completely, completely ridiculous. Pure garbage, nonsense. These guys had zero skill. No, like, listen, this is what they made me do. They put a medicine ball on the floor and they're like, okay, you're gonna hold on to that and then people are gonna come and they're gonna try and take you off. Right, and like, okay, sure, right? Uh, it was one of their drills and they were doing other drills too. Like, I don't remember all the other ones, but it, it was complete garbage, it had nothing to do. Like, these guys were so unqualified, so, so unqualified to teach you grappling. And they were just trying to like, you know, integrate it into their system. So that's the thing, man, with, um, with these schools that try to teach you like a mix approach. We have our own system, we borrowed from the best and na -na 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 -na, and we made it work. Dude, you know, it's because there's MMA now, man, and, and they, they like these, these schools are legit, you know, like you have real boxing coaches in there, real grappling coaches, uh, real uh, Muay Thai coaches, you know, real Jiu Jitsu guys, you know, and stuff like that, teaching you stuff. And after that, you have the head coach usually that knows how to like put everything together so that it works in the cage. And you know, so I mean, going to these types of school, and I think that I feel as though Jit Kune Do kind of falls into that category now. Honestly, I feel it falls into that category of like that Kung Fu school that kind of just puts a whole bunch of stuff together, right? And then try to try to make it work without really mastering really one of them, or maybe they master one or two things. But it's it. I I think that um, this is just my opinion. And of course, who knows, I might, if, if, I, if I had more information, I might change my mind. But I feel as though uh, this is where JKD is at right now. It's kind of like that Kung Fu school that it's, it's, it's left behind, man. It's, it doesn't work. Like if you want to, I feel as though if you want to learn um, self-defense, you should really just like go into MMA. Go to an MMA school, man. If you can't afford that, just find yourself a boxing school, uh, wrestling school, you know, do some judo, stuff like that. But learn, learn stuff that, like learn one thing at a time and then you can mix and match it later on. You can, you can figure that out yourself. It's not that complicated, guys. And um, yeah, man. So I really believe as though, I really believe that Jet Kune Do isn't the way to go if you want to learn. And also it's probably expensive, right? I'm guessing, like same thing as that Kung Fu score because you have the name behind it. Oh, Jet Kune Do, Bruce Lee, blah, 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 blah. So then they're gonna charge you so expensive. Whereas, um, and you might not learn like, um, you know, you, and they'll try to sell it off as like, oh, it's, it's, Self-defense, you know, we're here to kill, we're here to kill. Bro, you ain't killing nobody, I'll tell you that, you know? Like, you're gonna kill some, and you don't wanna kill somebody. You wanna be able to, right? Like, you wanna, you wanna be, uh, 
able to defend yourself strong, confident, develop those physical attributes, you know, learn uh, stuff that actually works for one, okay? But you don't wanna be in this mindset of killing people. And, and, and also like the danger is that you train stuff, right? Half-ass kind of thing. You know, you don't really learn real stuff, right? And what I mean real stuff is stuff that you don't, you don't have enough sparring and stuff like that. So you don't really, I, I'm sure there's some good schools out there, but I don't know, man, uh, JKD, like if you tell me, you know, like that guy who said, oh, go do JKD, dude. I don't need JKD. JKD is just a philosophy to me, right? It's about taking, it's, it's mixed martial arts. It's like taking stuff that works and stuff like that. And I did a whole bunch of stuff that works and I know how to put it together. So that being said, that was back in the day when mixed martial arts really didn't exist. So I guess the options were a little bit more limited. But today, in this day and age, dude, forget JKD, man. Um, you know, just go to, go to an MMA school, like in my opinion, right? So comment down below what you think. You think the JKD has lag behind? You think it's still legit? Do you think, uh, how do you feel in regards to what I said? And uh, yeah, I can't wait to hear you guys uh, uh, discuss about that. Okay, so like the video if you liked it and also uh, subscribe to the channel. Notification bell helps me grow the channel. Also, uh, jo f find me on Facebook, guys. I'm going to do a, uh, uh, a challenge soon. I'm setting it up. I'm getting up enough people into the group and after that, I'm gonna start the 30 day uh, Van Damme split challenge. So we're going to, of course, get in shape, work out our legs, stretch like crazy, right? And there'll be a cash prize. I haven't decided how much yet, but I'll figure something out. But if you guys add me on Facebook or follow me on Facebook, right? Um, then then you send me a message saying that you come from, uh, from, from, you know, from, from YouTube, okay? And because if you don't, like I might not accept you because lately I've been getting a whole bunch of people uh, adding me as friends. I thought it was like guys from the community but then it turns out it's like a whole bunch of random dudes that was just sending me like some really crazy shit, like some gay shit, you know? Like sending me dick pics and hey, how's it going? You want you have a boyfriend? Oh man. So anyways, I'm unfriending all these motherfuckers, man. And uh, from there, <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, like really filter and be more careful. Cause I thought it was all you guys coming in, but then eh, turns out it was just, uh, I opened the, the floodgates to, you know, bunch of freaking, uh, you know? guys who just want my ass kind of thing you know so and i got nothing against gay people but it's fucking annoying you know so fuck that all right guys see you in the next one peace